guys, I'm Chanel Roundy. I live in Good Maze, which is kind of Essex. I'm half Moroccan and half Jamaican, and I'm a Leo. I would class myself as an urban glamour video vixen. I got into the modern industry. Well, it was an accident really. I was with my friends at a shoot. They asked me to come down to a wretch for a t-shirt, a superhero. And I saw my manager, Shams Face for Music there, and she was like, I need you on my books. And I was like, I don't model. And she was like, no, we need you on the books. And then I wasn't too sure, so I didn't actually take it seriously. And then I thought about it, and I emailed her, I was like, oh, are you still interested? And she was like, of course, we need, to, we need you. We need you in a meeting. And then it just really went from there. It's been kind of since. Um, video experience. Obviously, the main or well, the most popular video I've done is the Cameron and Vado speaking in tongues video in Miami. Um, also, G Fresh and Corrupt and Conan, L O N D Boy. That was the major. Um, I don't know. Who, I don't know what else. What else have I done? I've done loads of things. Um, the industry right now, I think, is kind of pumped, if I'm going to be totally honest. Um, there's loads of girls out there thinking they can model, like, big bums, ugly faces. Doesn't really work, right? Photoshop is just taking over the world, and yeah, I speak it's a bit of a myth, to be honest. But there are some nice ones. The nice ones are nice ones, you know what I mean? Like, we've got some newcomers in faith, some music that I personally think are nice and will go far. But, yeah. I don't know about everyone else, to be honest. Modeling is kind of hard. You have to do, you have to stay in shape, exercise, watch what you eat. And I love food. You know, I didn't get this big like by not eating. But as long as you balance it out, fine. It's not a problem. Just hit the gym, go on that running machine, think about your beach buddy from Miami, and it's all good. My favourite modeling experience would have to be the Cameron and Vado shoot in Miami. It was in my favourite city, favourite country as well, America. And it was just an experience that not a lot of people can say they've had. Like, I got spotted out of everyone else that was there. I was living life. I was in the trailer, getting ready, changed and that, when everyone else was on the hot sweaty beach. I had the air conditioning and everything else. I felt like a mini celeb. about it, I actually haven't had a bad modelling experience. No, actually I have, I have, I, ha I have had a bad modelling experience. I've done a video one time, not too long ago, and um, I had to lean over a guy, and I was leaning over to get the angle, and the cameraman was meant to be shooting just the face angles, and then he started shooting my bum, and I had these little shorts on that did not fit me, because that's what everyone else had to wear as well, and my bum is big, and it cut up, and then the next thing, all I'm hearing is my bum is all over this video, because he wasn't shooting from the side, he was shooting from the front. And everyone's like, oh my god, your bum's out in this video. And I was like, shit, I've got brothers, I've got family, like, everyone's just gonna go mad about it. And that was a piss take. Outside of Muslim, I hang with my bitch, Johnny Lopez, <laughs> Bobby, and um, party and bullshit, shot a lot. <laughs> Um, drink a lot and just have fun with my girls really. My next step as a model is to take over the world, obviously. <laughs> the best advice I would give to any models that are trying to start out or that are in the industry but not feeling it's gonna you need to have good agents you need to have really good representatives because and people that honestly believe in you not ones that just want to throw you out there and make you like stand-ins and stuff like you need to have people that believe in you it's so important if 
If I won 100 mil on the lottery, the first three things I would buy would be a pink Bentley, because I saw this really cool stripper in Miami, she had a pink Bentley, and I just rate that to the fullest. Um, a, I don't know, a mansion in Miami, and I don't know, a really nice pair of Louboutins. If I could meet or work with any other model, it would probably be Charm Killings. She's an American model and I think she's banging. Like, she's proper amazing. Um, I'm sure a lot of you would agree with me, but I think my best feature is my bum. It's amazing. It's really big, but it's really natural. But it's, it jiggles as well, it's not like one of them hard bums that don't move, like you know the booty shots and you just poke them and they're just there, it's just like, yeah. My favourite food would have to be jello fries and chicken and stew. The Ghanaian one though. My favourite drink would have to be vodka and cranberry. I love it. My favourite country is America. I love it. And cities, Miami, obviously. Okay, it's weird though, because I like house music, but in Miami, I listen to hip hop and I love hip hop and it gets me like, that mean mugging and that. And no. Oh, my favourite phrase would have to be Obby babe, I say it's everything and I've got everyone else saying it. We had a shoot in Barcelona and all of the other models, management and even the, the clients we had were saying Obby babe by the end of it. Three things I cannot live without. Lip gloss, big sunglasses, and a hairbrush for me. Yeah, definitely a hairbrush. Um, just for you guys wondering, I am single at the moment. I'm on the market, I'm available. But you have to be pretty like amazing to change that. I just want to send a first shout out to the amazing photographer Wynn. He's the one who done my first lingerie bikini shoot. Believed in me, amazing guy, really good. Um, my bitch, Honey Lopez. My modeling agency, Face for Music. And me, Chanel Roundy. You guys can find me on Facebook. Chanel Roundy and Twitter at Chanel Roundy. It would make sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> Obby. I'm Chanel Roundy and this was a model of inspiration exclusive.